flicking players, throwing tantrums, or even chicken onto the ice, the NHL is full of weird moments, and today we have eight of them. Here are the most ridiculous moments in the NHL history. Number eight, the Anaheim Ducks embarrasses McDavid and the Oilers. In 2018, Connor McDavid was on back-to-back -back season, surpassing the 100-point mark and claiming the league scoring title. But despite his individual brilliance, the Edmonton Oilers sucked. Their performance kept McDavid from securing a second consecutive MVP award, and the team's failure to make the playoffs was more than 20 points out. This just reflected a significant shortcoming on the front part of the Oilers' off, and a particularly glaring illustration of the Oilers' struggles without McDavid occurred in the game against the Anaheim Ducks. The team's incompetence was vividly exposed as Anaheim deliberately maintained possession for nearly a minute, strategically waiting for McDavid to tire and head for a line change. Seizing the opportunity, the Ducks swiftly capitalized, scoring the game-winning goal. This incident underscored the team's heavy reliance on McDavid and highlighted the star contrast in their performance when he was not on the ice, emphasizing the challenges faced by the Oilers beyond their star player. Number 7. Marty McSorley's Illegal Stick Marty McSorley, an NHL enforcer with a reputation for his physical play, became infamous for multiple incidents including a notable attack on Donald Brashear. This incident not only led to the end of McSorley's own career, but also resulted in a criminal conviction for assault, earning him an 18-month probation. But before these controversies, McSorley found himself at the center of another infamous event during the 1993 Stanley Cup Final between the Los Angeles Kings and the Montreal Canadiens. In Game 2 of the Final, with the Kings leading the series 1-0 and holding a precarious 2-1 lead in the final minutes of the third period, the Canadians challenged McSorley's stick for an illegal curve. Upon measurements, it was confirmed that McSorley's stick was indeed illegal, resulting in a late power play for the Canadians. Capitalizing on this advantage, Eric Desjardins scored the game-tying goal and he later netted the overtime winner, securing a 3-2 victory for the Canadians and evening the series. Unfortunately for the Kings, this marked a turning point as they failed to secure another win in the series, ultimately losing to the Canadians in five games. This incident remains a significant chapter in the Stanley Cup Final history, contributing to the narrative surrounding McSorley's controversial career. Number 6. The Fog Game Before the 1988 Fog Game in Boston, there was another notable Fog Game during the 1975 Stanley Cup Final in Buffalo between the Flyers and Sabres. Similar to this later incident, the game in Buffalo was played under hot temperatures, with no air conditioning in the Buffalo Auditorium. However, the fog in Buffalo was way more severe, obstructing the view by many fans in the building. In addition, this game took a unique turn with the death of an animal, specifically a wayward bat that was disturbing players. The Sabres forward, Jim Lorenz, swatted the bat out of mid-air with his stick. In contrast to the 88 game, the 75 fog game was completed, ending with the Sabres winning in overtime with a score of 5-4. Despite their victory, the Sabres did not go on to win the series. Number 5. Brad Marchand's Licking Players Brad Marchand's unconventional on-ice antics made headlines when he repeatedly engaged in the unusual act of licking opponents during the NHL season. Notably, he targeted Leo Komarov on two separate occasions, with one incident occurring during the regular season and another in the playoffs. Marchand did not limit his peculiar behavior to Komarov as he also licked Tampa Bay forward Ryan Callahan in the second round. The NHL took notice and issued a warning to Marchand, threatening disciplinary action if he persisted with an unorthodox behavior. Of course, Marchand dismissed this controversy as just pretty stupid, reflecting the polarizing nature of his actions within the hockey community. The licking incidents have become a talking point, drawing attention away from the game itself and prompting discussions about sportsmanship and the line between competitive spirit and unsportsmanlike conduct. While Marchand's antics ultimately added a bizarre and humorous dimension to the season, the NHL's intervention underscored the need for players to adhere to a code of conduct even in the midst of intense competition. Number 4. The Penguins and Jack Johnson make John Tortorella lose it. The Pittsburgh Penguins signing of 
Jack Johnson to a five-year, $18 million contract on the opening day of free agency stirred considerable reaction within the hockey community. The decision to commit such term and such money to Johnson, who is perceived by many as a third pairing defenseman based on recent performance, raised eyebrows. However, for Johnson, the deal presented a promising opportunity to join a Stanley Cup contender and play alongside his longtime friend Sidney Crosby. Penguins general manager Jim Rutherford, in addressing the skepticism around Johnson's signing, vaguely hinted at undisclosed reasons behind the Columbus Blue Jackets scratching Johnson towards the end of the previous season, emphasizing it was unrelated to his on-ice performance. The signing did not sit well with the Blue Jackets coach John Tortorella, making another episode in his long-standing feud with the Penguins. Torts, known for his intense and outspoken nature, responded to the situation with profanity. The directed at Aaron Port's line. This incident added another chapter to Tort's well-documented disdain for the Penguins, further fueling the fiery rival between the two teams. Before we move on to the top three, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and back to number three, having another donut. The 1988 Wales Conference Final between the Boston Bruins and the New Jersey Devils became infamous for a confrontation between Devils coach Jim Schofen and referee Don Poharsh. Following the Devils' Game 3 loss, a heated exchange unfolded in the tunnel, leading to the locker room, culminating in Koharski's tripping and falling. Schofield accused Koharski of a push, and amidst a heated argument, the Devils coach insulted the referee, calling him a fat egg and sarcastically suggesting that he have another donut. The NHL initially sought to suspend Schoenfeld for Game 4, prompting the Devils to challenge the decision and obtain a temporary restraining order, allowing Schoenfeld to continue coaching. But in protest, the on-ice officials refused to work, delaying the start of Game 4. The NHL had to enlist replacement officials, putting individuals from the press box and outfitting them in makeshift uniforms to officiate the game. Schoenfeld was eventually suspended for Game 5, and the regular on-ice officials returned to call the remaining games in the series. Number 2. Andrew Cogliano's Iron Man streak ends with a suspension. Andrew Cogliano entered the 2017-18 NHL season with an impressive Iron Man streak of 830 consecutive games, spanning both regular and postseason play over his 10-year career. However, in January of that season, Cogliano's remarkable streak came to an end when he received a two-game suspension from the NHL's Department of Player Safety. The suspension was a result of a late hit on Adrian Kempe of the Los Angeles Kings. The two games he missed due to the suspension marked his first and and to date, the only incidences of him being sidelined in his NHL career. Cogliano's emotional response to the end of his Iron Man streak was evident during his media availability following the suspension. Fighting back tears, he expressed the frustration of seeing such a remarkable accomplishment conclude in a manner that warranted disciplinary action. The late hit that led to the suspension was undoubtedly deserving, but the league's response was a very unusual and unfortunate conclusion to Cogliano's extraordinary streak of consecutive games played. And last Lastly, we have number one, the LA Kings fan throwing a chicken onto the ice. The memorable incident of a live chicken being tossed under the ice from the 1988 LA Kings versus Montreal Canadiens game at the Great Western Forum was a quickly manifestation of a disgruntled fan's frustration with the Kings' performance. The chicken, spotting a purple napkin-like cape, sat on the ice for over a minute, adding an unusual and humorous element to the intent intense hockey match. Players and officials had to navigate around the unexpected intruder, turning the ice into a memorial and bizarre moment in NHL history. Such creative fan expressions, though disruptive, and oftentimes, they bring lasting memories that add a unique charm to the sports lore. Subscribe and comment with a moment you think we should have had in this video.